much looking forward to this. It was magical the other night, wasn't it, when Kira Suzuki came within a couple of darts of beating James Richardson, and we've seen Makuro, Anastasia Dobromislova, Lisa Ashton, and way back in in the day at the Circus Tavern in 2001, Gail King also all tried to smash the glass ceiling for women's darts and win a game on the World Championship stage, and now the baton passes on to 25-year-old Fallon Sherrick from Milton Keynes, the world number two in the women's world rankings, to have her crack against Terevitz, who seems to be enjoying himself at the moment. He knows all about this World Championship stage. He's only 22 himself from Stockton, but he's a very, very good operator. Ranked number 77, qualified by the, uh, the current Pro Tour Order of Merit, but his performances this year on the development tour are quite exceptional with eight victories, so a very, very good operator. What do you think, Laura? Everyone's looking Ladies forward to it, Fallon's done here as well to watch her play, first and must be a very proud father, so first. what do you think we're going to see here? It's going to be a fascinating contest. Thank you. The main thing for me is that Fallon just gives a good account of herself. She has got a very tough game, as we've said with, with Ted. He's an established player, especially on the, you know, on the youth tour this, this year. And when you think with that youth tour, he's playing against the likes of Luke Humphreys, Keen Barry, Kieran T, and the ones that we've seen up here, and, and the ones that actually barring Keen actually are winning so it is a tough challenge but just hope for her and obviously everyone watching that she just gives a good account yeah eight wins for Terebitz on the development tour and the last one uh, at the beginning of November last two at the beginning of November and the final Six victory was against Kieran Tien we've already seen winning on the big stage here at the Alexandra Palace this week treble 20 treats with this gold dust by the packed house here and just, if Fallon can give them something to work with as Bakuru did they'll get right behind her very very quickly and it'll be a tidal wave of noise cascading Nine towards Ted Evans every time he throws yeah and I, I said it upstairs Ted isn't used to having the crowd against him whether that makes a difference because he is quite a cool character but sometimes when you when your back's against the wall and then you, you're fighting against the crowd as well as an opponent that's hitting treble twenties against you. It, it can be quite a difficult thing to shake off. Fallon Sher have already saying that this was her biggest wow. achievement in Dart, just it's getting here more. and getting here itself was a very, very tough ask, bearing in mind that she had to uh, defeat the best player in women's darts, Lisa Ashton, who we saw her last year. 60. Averages in the Tentary 90s, more than one occasion in those qualifiers, and then disposing of Natalie Gilbert in the final to get here. No finish for Ted Everts, but he's in good shape in this leg. 'Cause Evans was coasting through this leg, he was just rolling downhill in neutral. And now he's not gonna get a dart at double. And if Fallon can keep these first two darts Fallon straight, she will get at least 85. a dart to the bullseye to take the opening leg. It was a wire rattler. Ted to require and a ribcage rattler for Ted Evans. It would have been under it from the get-go if that had hit the button, but Tenevitz nails tops. And, yeah, you can tell exactly what Tenevitz feels about that, because when he saw the dart in flight, the bullseye attempt, he would have been worried. something to work with if you give them something to cheer they'll be right behind you but ten wow. is right behind Fab and Sherry there with that two trouble visit but that was magical and she has earned a reputation over the years well the last sort of five or six years has been one of the biggest 180 hitters in the women's game ever since she burst onto the, the scene it was the final wasn't it in 2015 she got to the final against Lisa Ashton which was a terrific women's final at the lakeside she lost 3-1, but well, that was a great game of the, of the highest quality, wasn't it? And that's when Fallon Sherrick announced herself on the series. We just 20 then, wasn't she? 
Yeah, and not just that. I mean, she's, she's carried that through and improved and improved. But she also, um, she's quite uh, often out on the exhibition circuit. And although it's a completely she's different kettle of fish, she's playing against men on, you know, up on the stage constantly. So it's going to do nothing but benefit in a situation like this. Absolutely right, Laura. And this amazing experience it must be to get up on that stage in front of a packed house at the Alexandra Palace is going to be something that can only benefit in that regard. It's one of the things I really like about Fallon as well. I've played with her against her, and she just is such a collected character. She doesn't ever seem to really lose her focus. Well, we've seen two of these this week. We'll see another one. Oh, that third dart does make a difference, and her habit's not found a trouble there. Cheryl would have been looking at six darts from 106. Might only need three in any case. Tops. Fantastic, what a leg that was. It opened with a maximum and it ended with a three-figure out. Perfect set to throw first. Yeah, fantastic to see from Fallon. It's great to see that she's, she is now producing the form that she showed at the qualifiers. So if she can maintain this, she is really going to put uh, Everts under a lot of pressure. Well, she's outscoring Ted Everts here. Ted Everts is, is not stupid. He would have done his research. He would have seen Fallon Sherrill play. And he would have been expecting something probably around mid 80s, 90 average. But Sherrill's topping that at the moment and going higher and higher and higher. And that foul. The treble 20 and another maximum, her average would have been getting close to three figures. As it is, it's 92, so that's going to get you in any game in the first round of the World Championship. It's going to keep you in any game in the first round of the World Championship. 96. The bull of the 25 here went on to get trouble 19. To require 125. Well, left 82, and again, all things being equal, she's going to pop at a double from there. Trouble 20 for tops. Tops to deny Fallon Sherrick a chance at 82. 85. Fallon will require 82. So we'll be looking at bullseye here. So 17. Now for tops. 62. Said to require 40. Well, Sherrick was that close to taking the lead against the throw and then thrown for this first set. Game shot and that legs over. Ted Evitz clings on, survives a missed start at tops. Holds Came his throw. On. Those rib mate, those uh, mid-range finishes, the uh, 82s, the well, 60s through to 90s, they're the ones that you, she's really going to need to to hit. We saw it with Makuru uh, a couple of days ago. It cost her in the early sets because she wasn't hitting a double. So you, you need you need to be hitting them quickly. Wow. Seventy-seven. Yeah, the first set, double eleven, wasn't it for Makuru Suzuki? But she rallied from two sets down to two-two. Eighty-one. Fallon will be expecting a lot of herself from this match. I know what she's like, and she, she, she just strives to be the best and the best, and we know what she can do. So I, I can see just even that 81, she looked despondent, and she can't let herself, she can't let that get in her head too much. She just needs to focus on the job in, t in hand. Wow. Brilliant again, the second ton 40 from Fallon Sherry.
It's the 17th treble 20 that Fallon Sherrick's hit in this first leg, and we're in the fourth leg of it. And the relentless attack on the lipstick continues. Treble 20 here leaves tops. That leaves 80 to hold on in this set, unless Evans, who we've just seen, fail to take this out. Unless he hits this, Sherrick will get that chance of those mid-range finishes you were talking about, Laura. 25 for the ball. Too accurate, Ted, me also. One run and nine. Fallon, you require 80. So looking at 20s. So treble 13. And unfortunately, not going to happen on this occasion. So Ted will be back for double eight for the set. Yeah, it was a it was a real good leg up to them from Fallon Sherrick. She'd left herself on 80 after 12 darts. 30. Ted to require But let's give some credit here to Ted Evans because he's left himself on double eight after 12 darts. It's been a superb leg against the throw. Brilliant. 13 down leg from set. Ted Evans. That Ted really Evans. was super. Ted. Really enjoyable watch. Fallon Sherrick has banged in 17 treble twenties and Game threatened on. to take that set to a final leg. Couldn't quite manage it, but. She's take plenty of confidence, Laura, watching from that first set because she put Everts under wow. pressure. Kudos to Everts because he shook that off, but Sherrick's played real well. Yeah, and if she can do something like that again, now she's got the throw, then potentially then she, she can take this next set. It's just, it, I've mentioned it before, it's just, it was just a bad timing on the 80. You know, she, she played very well up to that point and just can't afford to make those kind of slips when Ted's playing the way he is. 99. Evitz World ranking is 77, but he's a better player than that. His seasonal average on stage right is 94 and change. That's the level he can play at. Playing slightly above that at the moment. But he's a better player than 77. 92. Course, whatever happens here, Fallon Sherrick will go on to try and claim the Women's World Championship in January at the O2, where she'll take on Corinne Hammond, former runner-up from Australia. And then and then, Laura, she might play you, mightn't she? Because you've got Dieter Hedman. And then the draw would work out as Fallon against Turner. It would. It would. I'm uh, very much a believer of just looking at one game at a time, so uh, I'd be delighted to play either her or, uh, or Corrie in the next round. But uh, I've got to get uh, past the legend that is Dieter Hedman on my way. <laughs> yes. Never been an easy game. Sherrick hits the 174 to leave 36 one after 12. Fallon require 36. Fantastic. 13 down leg. Say a leg set to two first. Now she can produce one of those at any time during the match against the throw. We just saw Ted Everts break the Sherrick throw, didn't we? The back 59. end of the first set, the winning leg of the first set in 13 darts. If Sherrick can fire one in herself here. This set would be looking real cosy for the 25-year-old for Milton Keynes. Yeah, and Fallon's been working on every part of her game. She's always been quite a heavy scorer, but uh, really has focused on uh, obviously her double, uh, doubles, but also that switch, One switching from the treble 20s down to the 19s, or quite often you'll see her switch across to the 18s. She really is now starting to use the whole board, and she's very, very good at switching. Definitely be among the favourites in the World Championship. World Championship record isn't, isn't as good as perhaps she would have hoped. There's a lot of quarter-final defeats. Lisa Ashton's knocked out a few times. Ashton will go for her fifth world crown in the new year. Wow. As Evans knocks in his first 180. Oh, she's got a long way to catch up Trina Gulliver's 10 titles. I know Trina has been forced to pull out of the tournament through ill health. We send our best wishes to you, Trina. 60. And if you're just joining us after the football between Villa and Liverpool, you joined us right One in the meat of a terrific game of darts here between Fallon Sherrick, Women's World number two, and Ted Everts, Super Ted, to take the first set. Quality. 49. Quite superb. Ted Everts tickling the ton with his average now. Tops for a 14 dart leg. This time the pressure won't come from Fallon Sherrick, so Everts knows he's got a little bit of leeway. 37. Right. 
to require 20. Yeah, good pressure there from Fallon, but uh, three darts in his hand. He's been very deadly on his doubles. Game show on the oh, second leg. Yeah, Ten Evans, the to take it out. Fallon, very close to the double first. 15. Came on. And uh, Evans holds on there. Sherrick was waiting on 93. The scoring here is right up there with anything you can want to see in any match anywhere in the world, because that's... Two 180s and five ton 40s, as well as seven ton plus scores, and we're in the seventh leg. One run on one. That's real heavy scoring. For the second time, she's opened the leg with a maximum. Goodness me. Oh, no. We could now be about to witness. A staggering piece of history. No woman has ever hit a nine dart leg. And we haven't seen any kind of nine dart leg in the World Championship since 2006. Strap yourself in. What a shame. Well, some nice applause from Ted Evitz. I don't know what would have happened if Fallon Shearer could take out the 141 then. I think the game may well have had to stop for about 10 minutes. I'm not sure I would be speaking or I might just be screaming. <laughs> but now, of course, as we often say and frequently say, it's about winning the legs. You need to be very careful here. He's well away from those flights and barrels to leave tops here again after 12. And time and time again, she's leaving finishes, you know, mid-range or single dart finishes after a dozen darts. The scoring is just absolutely... One Amazing. Fulton, 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 Fulton. And it goes in 14 darts. Well, Ted is firing as much artillery as he can at Fallon Sherrick, and she just keeps firing it back. I mean, Evans is playing beautifully here. He himself, with a couple of maximums to Sherrick's three, 50% on the doubles. So there's nothing wrong with the way Evans is playing. But he's in a real scrap here. Yeah, she's not giving up. She's not going to let up. One run on Fulton. One run on 34. And you feel if Fallon can just follow up here and take one leg against the throw, then that's really yeah. gonna gonna turn the tables here. One run on Fulton! The seventh hundred and forty. The set average of 105 and change, and Ebert's playing right at the top of his game also. Brilliant match one this. Run on 34. Super 134 there from Ted to leave himself on a finish. Fallon really needs to get a treble here. 82. Which he gets. Ted to require 153. <laughs> 87. Fallon require 153. Again, Ebbets leading a two darter after 12. Fallon show it. Threatens to go out in 12. 59. Now then, to require Evans knows if he messes this up, then Fallon Sherrick should get a dart, although she made a mess of 80 before, should get a dart to win the set. Two 16s for Evans. This time he makes the mistake. Fallon, you require 80. To 20 for Fallon. Single 20. Tops for the set. Game shot in and the she second gets it. Balance share at all square with Ted Evans. If she can get, I'll tell you what, if she wins this first leg of the Evans throw, then the place will start shaking. Yeah, I think she needs to just keep, keep, keep this pressure on. But also, I think Makuru kind of improved as she came back out after that. Uh, I mean, she went 2 0 down. So she, Fallon's in a much better position. And kicking off with a 180, that's never going to hurt, of course. Well, we saw them 
Well, it didn't end up in a nine dart attempt, but it was Max Max at the start of a leg in the second set. And that second set, by the way, both players averaged in three figures, 100 and change. One more. Do you remember, Laura, when there was some people who said that the women shouldn't have a spot at the World Darts Championship? There's, there's still, there's probably still one or two in there, in that little tiny minority that's shrinking by the day. We saw the magic of Mikuru Suzuki, and now we're seeing the force of Fallon here really rattle Ted Everts. Yeah, I feel quite privileged that I get to see these ladies on a regular basis. I know what they can do. And, I, I feel nothing but pride when I'm watching Makuru and Sherrick and when I watched Lisa and Anna last year. They, they deserve their spot. It's so increasingly frustrating when you do hear the, you know, the minority, and it is a minority. And these girls have gone up and they are proving why they, they deserve to be there. Well, at the moment, you're watching two of the highest three average in this championship. Double ten. Good Goodness me. Ten of us is in trouble here because there's no sign of Sherrick stopping. Takes the lead for the first time in the match, has the darts in this set effectively now with the break of throw in the opening leg. The second break of throw. Actually, she's taken wow. Everett's throw on the last two legs, hasn't she? The one that won the second set and the one that's opened up the third. Yeah, she, if she keeps applying this pressure, um, Ted has got more than enough in the tank to obviously to deal with this, but. Fallon's, Fallon's really challenging him, and actually, as we just said, she's now in the lead. She can if she can continue like this, then Ted is going to really struggle. Well, Ted Everts at the moment is averaging close to 100. He's only half a point behind Ian White's average, which is the highest of the tournament so far, and he's getting beat. Sherrick's averaging 98 and a half, which is the third highest behind Everts and White of this year's tournament. Forget Van Gerwen, and forget wow, Cross wow, and Smith and Anderson. Fulton. She's making. Their averages look pygmified, if that's a word. Well, it is now. Remarkable. Support there for uh, Fallon. Oh, this is a great leg from Ted to leave himself on 94, just to break back the Sherrick throw. Yeah, possible 11 dart leg from Ted Everts. Possible 12 dart leg still on. It's not on now, and you couldn't rule this out now, could you? We saw Anderson take this out, Gary Anderson, last night, but he couldn't rule it out because he's already taken out 100 and 106. Said to require 60. Two darts at tops to get control back, rest back control of this set. I'll tell you what, you've got to take it out of here to Ted Evans because he's under pressure here. All the heat is on him and he's averaging a hundred and a half now. We've seen him play well at the Worlds before, let's have it right. Beat uh, Simon Stevenson with a 93 average last year and then average 96 in getting beat by Adrian Lewis. But this is as well as he's played in any big TV match, Ted Everts. Yeah, it's a fantastic contest between the pair of them. They're, uh, they're scoring. Yeah, get super recovery there from Fallon. Well, we've seen this week with the foundation that was laid by Lisa Ashton and Anastasia Dobrovoslova last year and now built on by Suzuki and Sherrett that there's no question in my mind that the next big growth area in darts is going to be women's darts. It's there really to be built upon and to just explode into new heights. Isn't it? I know the prize money's gone up for next year at the World Championship, Laura, but it's still nowhere near what it should be and what it could be for women's darts. No, and I think the more investment it gets, not just in financial reward for the players, but actually investment in promoting and getting more women involved and more interested, then it, the, it, this game for the, you know, with the women could just explode. 
is a really, really untapped area and it's so highly competitive. And Fallon and uh, Makuru are demonstrating it so amply. This, <laughs> I don't think that's a big enough word. I need more superlatives to explain how well they're doing. One hundred. And another hundred to leave her on another three-figure out shot, two of which she's already converted. For that rhythmic throw. With a little pause before the 32. release of the dart. Serves Everts well again. Trouble Tony would have left the double 18. Seventy-six left. Fifty. Ten to require. Sixty-four 51. left. If she gets a chance, because Everts here is looking to swoop on fifty-one. Double sixteen for Ted. Double eight. Thirteen. And, Ted. and those only the sixth and seventh darts that Ted Everts has missed at double, and they could be very costly. Sherrick's going to get one here. A double 16. Game shot in the third round. Fallon Sherrick is throwing for the set. Fallon Sherrick is throwing to lead this match in sets. And over this last set and set or two, she's her finishing has been spot on. Not to mention, that is actually now her fifth 180 of the match. I think four of them have started legs. You don't lose many legs when you start with a maxi on your own throw. Ted's instantly on the back foot, and this is he needs to win this to obviously keep the set alive. One hundred. Of this match taking haymakers from Sherrick here, but he's managing to throw some leather of his own here. But even so, even with that maximum, Ted Everts is still adrift in this leg. He really needs another one, to be honest. At least 140. Ted is looking very focused. He seems to have calmed down. He looked a bit flustered earlier on, and I think he realizes he's in, he's in a game and he just needs to forget about everything else. The same as Fallon seems to, be, seems to be able to Ted do. To require 164. Well, go now. So again, it's the 64 show for Fallon Sherrett. And remember, this is to take 64. the lead in sets and Fallon to move to within one 64. set of winning. Another for the double, for the lead. 48. Ten to require She's only number. missed five darts at double all night. Will she be back for another three? She will. 32. You can see the frustration on Ted's face there. But, uh, Fallon back for double eight for the set. Double four. Ted to require 68. So Ted requiring 68. He's going to get a dart if he can keep this one straight. Biggest dart of the match. Biggest dart Ted Evers has thrown in the World Championship. And he's Game up to it. And up for he's up to it. Ted Evers. Fallon Sherrick. Four for darts Ted's missed. Came on. A double 16 and its derivatives to win the set. So frustrating, she'd crafted the opportunity for herself. So frustrating, but again, Ted Everts, with one dart in hand, was up to it. Did not fold, did not waver. But... 56. Let's get it right, there's another leg to be played here, and although Sherrick's against the darts, she's broken the Everts throw on the last three occasions. 
Yeah, really felt that she needed to punish that opening 58 from Ted. One run on 21. Fifty nine. Of all the times for her to lose that real power scoring we've been enjoying is is now she needs to find that red bit. One run of thirty five. One hundred. Yeah, they may well be when the history of this match is written the most significant moments the four darts Sherrett missed or 16 double eight and double four with the targets and 69. then the one dart the last dart in hand for Ted Evers at ironically the double 16 and now a bounce out can't leave 80. a finish once the bounce out had occurred the best you could do was leave 166 said to require 100 meters just needs to stay in and around it here if Everts doesn't take this out you know, sure I can take a two treble visit and leave a two data there's still just a squeak still gonna hit the double here Ted Everts he's done everything that he could once he couldn't take it out to lead double 16 58 Ted to require 32. 32 for Ted for the set Closer than 148. And so the breathing space is still there for Ted Evitz. 16. And that doesn't really Ted to turn 16. the tourniquet and apply Thank the you. pressure. Game Evitz holds on. Third set. Ted Evitz. The set that featured four breaks of Fourth throw, set. but it was the hold First that was crucial in the end in the fifth Fourth leg. And Evitz stops on. the rot on his own throw. He'd lost his last three legs, which he'd started. He won that one, though. Fallon Sherritt left to Rue. Four one missed darts of double that would have won the set in the fourth leg and left her throwing for the match in set four. That's how close it was. 96. Yeah, and that could prove to be critical. So it's really how she's going to kick off and come back from that in this set if she wants to keep the game alive. 55. closely contested match as well there's hardly anything to separate the pair both hit 100 18 100 pluses. there's only one between Sherrick's at 8 140 pluses next to Ted's next to Ted seven and Fallon's got slightly higher on the 180s as you can see there Fallon's got five where Ted's got three wow. and even the doubles 43% Fallon 41% so you know it's been a really closely contested competitive match very closely contested and underlined by the leg score which you see there from the doubles hit. Everts leads 7 6 in legs, wow. but remember two legs ago he was 6 5 down in legs, so that's how close it's been. Really closely contested match this. But now Sherrick's under the heat of having to 16. win this set with her darts to do what Makuri Suzuku did and send it into a final set decider as she did with James Richardson. Never mind a final set, a final leg decider, wasn't it? 54. Yeah, that match kept me on my uh, tender hooks right through to the very end. <laughs> a brilliant game of darts, which kept you guessing. It really was a who won it at the Alexandra Palace as Sheriff Friends at second 106 out. And this time, if you are going to miss, it's not the worst time to miss with your opponent way back in the 200s. 56. Fallon will require 32. This is the double that she missed. And this is the problem she had. In that last 16. set. Ted to require 150. And from having hit six of ten at double, she's missed eight on the trot to leave at six for 18. There's another three here if she needs them. 75. 
Yeah, so double A needed 16. to hold a throw. Double four. Game shot in the first leg. And, and she seven. takes the first, uh, leg, first leg of this fourth set. Yeah, she was five at double there, but they don't matter. They don't matter anymore, do they? They're irrelevant, rendered irrelevant by the double four. Wow, right on, Fulton! That's why the doubling stats sometimes are a little bit misleading, aren't they? If you have three in hand at 40 and you go out third dart, you're 33%, you go out first dart, you're 100%, and it's the same result. It doesn't make any difference, does it? Yeah, the only thing they'll really be interested in is who crosses that line first. Well, seven all now in legs, Laura. And Ted Everts will not want to be going Fulton. into a final set here. Don't you worry about that. They want to wrap this up. Ted will want to put the match to bed pronto. 16. Because it'll only get more, it will just get ratcheted up and get more and more tense and more and more nervous if he goes even deeper into this game. We saw James Richardson, didn't we? I don't think he enjoyed it very much until he hit that last double. One no, you can see it was, a, I think it was a face of pure relief for, for Richardson. And don't forget, obviously, now we, we have no more breaks, so the uh, the ability to compose yourself if you are up against it, that, that you have to do it up there in play. And that is sometimes much harder to do. As she takes her ton 40s into double figures with a tenth. 60. Said to require 160. And 19th Tom Plus score. So she really is outscoring Everts here. That's a good use of the ball by Ted Everts. It leaves him 71. It leaves him a two dot combination. But how much pressure will he be under? Said to require 71. She needed to just get at least a treble on the board there to put more pressure on this uh, 71 for Ted. Tops. 31. Palin require 180. Well, we've seen a 106, we've seen a near miss on the 106, we've seen a level ton from Sherrick. Over adjustment there uh, from Sherrick. Uh, Ted now needing tops. Him short the second leg. Ten Evans. Well, it wasn't the best of Third legs. Leg for Evans, to it took him 19 downs to finish Came it, but that, it's okay because he got the job done. Doesn't detract from the fact that Fallon Sherrick, if wow. she can hold throw here in this leg. And the last, if it goes to it in this set, she will have levelled up at two sets apiece. Fifty-nine. Runner-up, or well, the loser here, will pick up seven thousand five hundred pounds. It will be the highest check of Fallon Sherrick's career. I think Ted Evans will pay most of that seven thousand five hundred pounds to get a break of throw here and take the heat off. <laughs> Fulton. Obviously, the prize waiting for him, uh, the winner of this match also will uh, go through to play uh, Mensa Sulovic. Yep. Placed. One run out, look at deflection. Denied him a fourth max, but he is in front of this leg now, so. One the pressure's on. really on Fallon Sherrick here. 15 dart legs, still a possibility, but a long shot probably from 2 6 1 after 9. Just seized off ever so slightly in this last this last set or two. You just want Fallon to go back and find that that form that she had when she took the uh, second set of the match. Well, that Fulton. keeps the 15 dart dream alive in this leg. An 11th ton 40. And if Everts comes up big trebleless, which he hasn't, Sherrick could have a half a dozen at one two one. She may still have half a dozen 92. at one two one. Oh, sorry, 94. 
Fellini requirement 121. Treble 17. Treble 20. That'll do 97. nicely. That's perfect. Said to require 100. In many ways. It leaves a three at 24 if Everts hasn't got a roof raiser up his right sleeve, and he certainly has not. 76. Ted, when, when Ted actually hits it, he seems like he's not going to miss, but actually sometimes he's had some real wayward ones. Sherrod converts. Sherrod leads. In the fourth set, the double 12 puts her within a leg of levelling the match. Ted Evans is managing to maintain the air of a man who is playing down his local boozer for a pint and a packet of crisps. But Fallon Sherrick comes roaring back as they trade maximums at the start of the fourth leg in the fourth set. One run on Fosey! Yeah, I think that's Fallon's, that was Fallon's sixth, 180, and I think perhaps third or fourth, indeed, uh, that actually started a leg. What a leg this is, by the way, with both players going 180, 140. The subtitle under Ted Evitt's face should be saying, what's happening here? I've gone 180, 140, and you're still there. 95. He's done one in this leg, Evitt's. He's done real well. He's left 86 after nine. Yeah, Fallon needs a treble here to pressure the uh, Everts throw. 100. And she gets it. So to require 86. Brilliant leg. Who's going to win it? Double 16 for an 11 data. Reloads. 50. Misses. Huge opportunity here for Sherrick to uh, take this fourth set. 16 for the bullseye. 56. Set dart missed. Ten to require 32. He's only hit this once in eight attempts. Game shot and a full play. Twice in ten attempts will do, Evans. because Big Evans levels Fallon up. So for the second first. straight set, Fallon Sherrick has had a dart or darts to win the set. This time, though, the deciding leg will be on her 16. throw. Can she hold it to go into a final set? Or can Ted Evans break and win the match? One run on yeah, super Fulton. reply from Sherrick. I see one. 21 behind, less these. One still, she squeezes in another hundred. Yeah, she's fighting for her place in this championships. Well, and it has been just as gripping and captivating and enthralling One as Mikuri, Mikuri Suzuki's battle with James Richardson. Will it have a similar fate in a last set shootout? It will if Sherrick's got anything to do with it. She wants to switch here for treble 19 or treble 15 will do just 61. as well to leave 36. Set to require 140. Well, it would be a great way to win a match. And I don't think too many inside the Alexandra Palace are hoping Ted Evitz hits this. And he won't hit it. But they will be hoping that Fallon Sherrick can find double 18. 35. So, double 18 to keep this match alive. And she gets it in force at the side now. And in 13 darts, 
Fallon Sherrod pushes Ted Evans into a final set. He has got the darts, and just to remind you, in this round of the competition, there's no tie breaks, there's no winning by two clear legs in the rule book. It's simply the same as the other sets. The best of five legs, the first of three, will prevail. Yeah, that 140 there to kick off uh, Fallon's f uh, final set. She's really taken advantage of that 60 that Everts has thrown already. Lovely scenes on the big stage before the set started. 21. Just a game of darts between two top quality professionals. It, it, it's Bolton. ceased to be a man against a woman and all that storyline and narrative. It's just two really top quality darts players going at it in a World Championship darts match, which is exactly the scenario that we wanted to see. Brilliant stuff, absolutely magical wow. stuff. Wow. A 1740 puts Fallon Sherrick to within two darts of the lead again. Yeah, and if Fallon can see this out, there's going to be a complete shift within this final set because she would have broken the Everts throw early wow. on. Wow. She wow. wants to get through this, she needs to break. So if she can do it now, she's going to put herself in a great position. So 16 for Bullseye. 50. Touch Just can find 80. it. I think third time of asking, still hasn't hit that ball. That's right. Oh, that's pinpoint. Two at double ten. And now one at double five, and he was on the walk to take the ball out of the hole. Slipped out, Ted, you're going to have to putt again. Double five. 70. Follow me, require 31. Double 14 is the pick. Game seven <laughs> at the the double seven it ended up at. Second leg, Fallon to front first. Game on. Well, there is a sense of wonderment here around the Alexandra Palace. Are we within three or four minutes of darting history here on the biggest stage of all? It's been a really super contest between these two. Finding it hard to get words out, I'm kind of getting really rather excited at the tail end of this. <laughs> at least you're only having to talk about it, Laura. You're not having to throw the darts up there. Imagine how Fallon Sherrick feels. She hasn't shown any signs yet of 45. wavering. And Everts soon here could be banking on Fallon Sherrick suddenly snapping out of this beautiful dream and realising this is a World Championship darts match and getting edgy about it. But the, there aren't really too many signs. OK, 41 there, but there haven't been many signs, have there, in the, the back end of this match when she's been bang under it time and time again. Yeah, she's one of these players who's just not very easily flustered. Um, I thought maybe the stage would make her slightly more edgy. But she seems to have actually thrived under this pressure. She's she's playing some of the best darts I've seen her play. Sixty. Well, they were all over the treble twenty, but they weren't in it. Well, I tell you what, Ted Everts is starting now to start to get very very concerned. The near miss on double ten and the miss on double five, but Sherrick swoops on. On double seven in the last leg, have got Everts rattled, and he's now thrown his worst darts of the match at the worst possible time. Nineteen. Yeah, and I think she can feel that. She can feel that tension, and she's going to make the most of it. Ted's got all the pressure now. Ninety-six. Fallon, you require one hundred and sixty-four. She doesn't need to go treble 18 for Bull. Well, that's where she was looking. Whether she'd have gone for the Bull is a moot point. One but what she has done 32. has left herself on double 16 with Ebbets nowhere in sight. There's 
just got to hit another treble and hope for the best, and he's done that all right. But three darts here to put Valenciera to the brink of history. Valenciera is one leg away from making darts in history at the Alexandra Palace. Ten Evans is at the point of no return. He's got to run three legs straight here to avoid being the fall guy. Yeah, superb composure there from Ted to get a 140 under all this pressure. The Fallon, you just feel that the momentum is with her at the moment. One leg away from a momentous victory. Everts led. 1-0 in sets, 2-1 in sets. Survived wow, set darts in that third set thousand. from Sherrick. She levelled then at 2-all as she'd levelled at 1-all. And now she leads two legs to nil. 97. And the difficulty here for, for anybody is to just keep throwing one dart at a time because, well, let's have it right, our mind is racing forward to some attempt at a match-winning double, 97. but you've got to get there first, haven't you, Laura? It's very easy to get one step ahead as I'm almost falling into doing, and it's very important that Fallon doesn't do that. 41. Yeah, I know exactly what Technical you mean. I mean we're, I'm already predicting where she may go after this and this. And the thing is, she's not actually hitting the scores like she has done in earlier earlier legs. But that said, it's the Ebert's throw. She will have the darts in the next leg if this one doesn't go her way. One hundred. Set to require well, for this two is four. Found some form. To go double 16 here. Not been his friend very often tonight. 12 scores. It's two for 12 for Everts here. He will get another three, but he won't want to hear 140 coming from the dulcet tones of Russ Bray. He won't want to hear 140. One forty. He didn't want to hear that. No, deep breath there from Ted. Ladies and gents, thank you. The temperature rises. Well done. Well done, Ted. Full Ten credit. Full credit. Full credit. Fallon's at full first. Not a great Get fan on. of hearing people booing him. He's done nothing wrong up there. He's got up and played a brilliant game of darts. He's played with the greatest respect. 100. Fallon Sherrick left double top, which would have been for the match. But Everts again was up to it. On the double. Now then, what have we got here? Fallon Sherry got for the hundred. Should have took that before she towed the hockey. She'd take a hundred every throw in this leg before she tows the hockey. Yeah, and Everts unlucky there, really, not to score more. We were sat on that top wire. 41. Not what she wants to see at this stage. Remember, Makura Suzuki went all the way to a last possible leg against James Richardson. Fallon Sherrick trying to avoid that. 58. Two nil in legs in this set, now 2-1, and now Everts creeping back into it and threatening to take control of the leg on the Sheriff wow, delivery. Yeah, Fallon needs a big score here. One run and 26. Scores level in points in this leg, but Everts crucially has the darts here, but that is a blocker. To, yeah, he has to switch, but he hasn't switched with any degree of effectiveness. A huge opportunity here for Fallon. Another one of them. She'll stay there. Wow. Brilliant. Oh, 140 to leave us out 36. Unless Ted Abbott takes out his highest finish of the match, Fallon Sherrick is one dart away from the second round of the World Championship.
All he's got is a 60 bullseye. All he's got is a bullseye. 80. Finally, we require 36. So we're on the end of history. 36 left for Fallon Sherrick. Game. Sherrick. And Fallon Sherrick smashes the game.